All right, status quo, not status quo check, but check in on all of our quests again. So, an irreversible hardship has befallen us. Something has destroyed the town waterworks. Without water, all semblance of personal hygiene, sterilization, and quarantine itself are as good as gone. We won't be able to keep the people indoors anymore. I should inform Ogimsky as soon as possible. So, one thing is to go down Ogimsky, blockaded district. Victor wanted me to. He said so that my word would suffice, but he would like evidence about the how thorough the inspection was. So it says it's a dead looter's body. Eh. Not super clear on that. And there's the testing drugs things. Uh, Vlad the Inger will inspect what's left of the medicine supply. He's delegated the testing to four women, Yulia, Anna, and Laura, and Eva. I wonder if he appreciates that one of them may decide to test the solution on herself. So I probably want to check in on all four of those people, in addition to checking out whatever house is that. And then also, talking to Olgimsky. I'm gonna look for his letter. No, it's just Vlad's letter. Um, double check, do I have a map? That's the medicine person, another medicine person. Do I actually have... I should check in on Aspity because they were saying stuff about the water supply and that, that would probably help. So I'm probably gonna go to do that next. I, uh... I could tell Ogumski or I could check in on whether or not there's whether or not Aspity can give me useful information. Where am I supposed to go? I'm still not super sure what to do about the whole uh looter situation. It's not what as as is becoming common in this game, uh it's just not the most useful description of what I'm supposed to do. Right, I, I, right, I looted that before I came in. Definitely one of the tougher, tougher things to deal with in this game is just trying to interpret what a quest even means sometimes is half the challenge. Hey, little kid. What's wrong with you, what? Want, want to know what will happen to the Ripper? And what will happen? He will heal the god, and then the grief of, for the loss will break him. That's because a very pretty lady will fall in love- Oh, we did this already. Yeah. How do you know all this? We gossip about you all the time. You just called me the Ripper. It's not nice. Don't call me the Ripper. Very rude. I'm not big on bullets right now. There's a lot to keep track of. Your daily routine, your health bars, what the locations of all the current quests are, what was in the letters that day, and also trying to remember which people you've- which uh, of the various NPCs you've gone through today's dialogue for already. Hey you, don't you mess with us. We know a thing or two about life. Why are you sticking a le like a leech to me? Tell me, are you a doctor? Well, yes. So, do you have a bandage, tourniquet, any bandaging material? What do you need it for? Huh, what for? How's that even a question? What do you think is the most useful thing in a fight? What if you're bleeding on, or your joint's been dislocated? How do you fight a war without bandages? And they're nowhere to be found. What war? I don't think you're even having a real war. Come on, we've been, we've been there before. Stop this inane war of yours. Go home and stay in until aid arrives. Till aid arrives, when would that be? And what are we supposed to eat, huh? There's no bread in this town, and now there's no water too. Stay in, he says. You must be eating healthy and nutritious food, ain't you? Got something? Got yourself some nice chow, don't you, Sir Bachelor, sir? You moron. Anyway, want to trade? <laughs> Immediately after that, uh, price one and two. I've been using some of those up, so I should probably restock. There we go. All good. Uh, what did happen? Did my immunity just like take a hit on the spot or something? That spooked me for a second there. My immunity like popped up on the screen. I'm like, ah, ah stop that. 
Don't spook me with scary things to add to my list of things to worry about. Hi. What's with that disgusted expression? Yuck, the river- oh, we, we've been through this. It's just silt. <laughs> it's not just silt. But I don't want to do that whole conversation again. Which one do you claim to do? Kills microbes, suppresses their growth. Doesn't kill any harmful micro uh, microorganisms, but strongly impedes their reproduction, which is crucial for this type of infection. Huh. So it hurts your health and reduces the growth of infection. And it's kind of expensive, frankly. Got a few things now, though. Let's grab one of these. Why not? The list of people who values my... Li the list of people who value my, uh... Nuts. That's, a, that's really unfortunate to say. Uh, seems a little over, all over the place. Because I, I should I could double check, but doesn't the stuff that they value get uh, skipped to the top of the screen to help you trade? I'll have to double check the nuts. They're supposed to be good for trading with children, but some of them don't seem to care. Maybe the older girl character model isn't a child by their categorization. Maybe you only trade the children's nuts with the tiny, tiny, tiny children. Which is the little girl that actually looks like a little girl, but also kind of looks like a grandma. And then the little boy that just looks like somebody took a teenager and, and scaled them down. And, uh, yeah, I'm a little boy. I'm like, no, you're not. You're like someone, you're like a puppet. You look like a, someone's ventriloquist doll. And we're supposed to just all collectively be nice to you and pretend that you look like a child. That sounds mean, but it's a... It's a character model. If anything, it's mean to the guy who made the character model, I guess. <laughs> but the, the little boy, just something about him is really off-putting. Because, like, not not the blonde one, the black-haired one, looks like a ventriloquist dummy. This must be the morgue. I'm supposed to inspect it, I believe. First of all, if you want it to be the morgue, you probably want to empty this stuff out. Isn't this- this stuff looks like it might be food. Is there actually anything I'm supposed to do here? Or just be like, yep, it exists. Hey, uh, bachelor, you want to clean this thing off? That's not- that's empty. Bachelor, could you clean this damn lens? It's so gross looking. Like, really gross looking. I did it, I guess. Um. Maybe I'll be sent here later. For another reason. I don't know. They added it to the map and they're like, this is gonna be the morgue. J usually that means there's a reason to go there. And I did say I was going to inspect the morgue and other places. Maybe the fact that I found out about the water situation means that the inspecting the morgue is just kind of currently irrelevant. Maybe that's why there's no follow-up there. What time of day is it? It's 10.30. Raining again. It's that kind of whatever summer rain, though. Where the sky is still, like, vaguely clear-ish, and it's like, doesn't feel like a big deal. The best kind of rain. I feel like it never ha- I feel like it doesn't really happen too much. I feel like in California, it's either there's no rain at all, for like, 99% of the time, <laughs> and then very abruptly there's a lot of rain. And not a lot of in-between. This is actually a rare sight, this idea. For me, it's a rare sight, this idea of like seeing rain while also the sky looks... You can see the sky still, past the clouds. Who's a little creeper? We frequently do good to enable us with impunity to do evil. Pit-a-pat, pit-a-pat, can you hear the kids running around?
Aspidy, you, you know already I'm not a man to be trifled with. Who destroyed the water supply? Oh, look at me, trembling with fear. Do you think, Serpent Tongue, that trifling with you was any fun? So the guy lost his temper. Big deal. It's not his fault. He's a simple worker. He was put up to do this. By whom? Well, a lady of some importance. I don't think it would be too wrong to assume that she's hiding her real face from the majority. It definitely wouldn't be too wrong to assume that the lily-white daughter of the executed Captain Ravel knows the answer. So, Lara? Laura Ravel knows the answer of who destroyed the water supply? Isn't the person who I was doing this for in the first place? Are you trying to say that it was Laura, who, Laura who's inspired this? Go ahead and interrogate Laura the angel. As for me, I'm done here. I'm hungry myself. It's a pity that I won't see you drive the poor, poor sufferer into a corner. Oh, how I hate this tender dove type. If only I could sink my teeth into her slender white neck. Uh... What is your deal? <laughs> Can't imagine Laura putting anyone up to do that. Yet somehow she knew to, to find the house of the living in advance. Somehow she stocked up on water in advance. If only for a few people. Somehow she avoided having an isolation ward in her very own house. So many coincidences, wouldn't you agree? But oh, how naive she looks, how tender the voice, how inviting the little vein on her neck. This can't be. Clara the thief, on the other hand, turned out to be a saint. Huge loads of miracles she performed yesterday, a ton of people healed by her hands. Unbelievable, isn't it? See? I am willing to admit the virtues of blessed girls, as long as they prove their sainthood with deeds done. We'll sort this Claire out later. Wow, there's a lot of Lara going on in this map right now, considering we just got started. Huh. We frequently do. Bit odd. It's a bit odd that she sent she sent me on this mission in the first place, and it. Uh, that's not necessarily her, I guess. Somebody else kind of initiated, I think. On, a, on some level, she kind of, she's the one that sent, told me about the sabotaged water supply, which she sabotaged. <laughs> like, well, this is going to loop right about right around back to you. We'll see if anything Aspidy says is true, though. And if they're having trouble with infection in here, what about the what about in there? It's just a solid brick of bad. Ah, the rat too. Go away. Why are you so dedicated to chasing me? Ah, stop it. Ah. God damn. How am I doing? All right, no infection. God damn, I guess I'm that close to an infected ward. Oh yeah, there it is. Being spooky. Did another, did another one just die right here? They must have despawned already. No, just don't chase me. Don't chase me, you're gonna die if you chase me. It's a bad idea. Oh boy. I'm safe right now, right? I mean like the, from, from, from plague clouds. I'm like between the cloud spots on the map. Oh, I didn't want to go this far. I want- oh, I wanted to turn back there, but that's where the bad place was. Shit. Boop boop. Ugh, it gets so yellow. And I'm guessing you can't go between any of the houses here. That'd make it too easy. Or maybe? No. It's a weird internal loop. So I've got to, I've got to probably get through there if I want to go where I want to go. All right, let's power through it. Nope, there they are, dead again. Huh. 
Don't mind me. My habit of looting these things is getting more concerning now. Now I'm looting these things so that I can then take them in and use them on people. But like I'll, I'll like I'll grab these things and I'll fill them up with water. But like I got the bottle from Plague District. That's just like bad news. Oh shit! Screw you! Why does it do that? Ah! What the fuck? What's the house I'm going for? Ah, shit. Is it chasing me too? It's such a vague cloud, it's actually hard to tell at first whether it's chasing you or not. In addition to that, somebody else was chasing me. Great. Great. What a happy neighborhood. God damn. That's brutal that the clouds can just chase you. Because at first you don't notice because they always look kind of in motion, even when they're motionless. So this one was Anna Angel. Life is hard. It's over. All hope is lost. Anna, tell me, what's the deal with this drug testing of yours? We were made to test some strange pills. Yulia, for example, is supposed to enter an infected house, get sick there, and die. How's that for a test, huh? I seem to be missing the point of such a test. She's supposed to test some sort of antibiotic. Her task is to become infected and treat herself with it. If the drug fails, her only option is to cure herself at the last moment with a diabolical concoction. That mismatch children's thing? The one that works best if you need to send an adolescent to an early grave? Capella's almost done it twice. And what's your task? Oh, I've never had the gut- I'd never have the guts to take part in this mad effort. But those poor souls, they'll soon come- come by here, and then they'll go to yet another infected house to face certain death. They'll be held in there for several hours under lock and key, taking some sort of drug that will supposedly protect them from the infection. If it's good, that is. How will you know if it's good or bad when they die? <laughs> That's precisely the madness part. Vlad made the Death Seekers promise that if they do get sick, they'll just let us know through the through the morticans, morticians. You know, the fellows who have been walking around in theater costumes. And if all goes well, they'll inform their contact, and for some reason, that's me. What do I have to do with it? What kind of drug did you receive? I've been given three different drugs. They all ruin your health, but each does that in its own spectacular manner. Give them to me, I'll do the testing. Drugs. I just need to take each drug. Hey, I even have a copy of those. What do you all want from us? As long as I'm here, there is hope. I think I already had all of those. Maybe not. No, I had a different red drug. That's confusing. Gamma tablets, new generation immunity booster, excellent for increasing immunity, speeds up blood cell production, can be dangerous in large doses. Delta tablets. Negligible harm done, apparently, while doing the good thing still. The paint is peeling off me. They're all they're all immunity boosters. I could do with an immunity boost. Maybe when it gets a little lower, I don't know. But an immunity booster on its own isn't going to save you from a plague house. Especially prolonged contact. I'm still the vast majority of my ability to avoid plague isn't drugs, it's me running away from it. And trying not to touch things that give you it, instead of directly being like, get it in me. Which is their strategy? That doesn't work. There's a reason why I keep telling everyone to just go indoors and stay there. Because it's way more effective than trying to treat the disease, is to avoid it entirely. Preventative measures in medicine. Always being more effective than reactive measures. But not if they're gonna be stupid about it. Uh, I got some money, not a lot. I kinda need to repair my knife, because it's getting me killed. Hey, buddy. Help. 
Can you repair this device for me? That's not that expensive. Cool. Have I repaired that one? That's way more expensive to repair. Crap. But I did that right, didn't I? The lack of sound effects and interface feedback when I do certain things throws me for a loop sometimes where I'm like, did I actually do it or no? Ah. There's just plague people everywhere. It's fucking creepy. And they just chase you down. Only me, too. Like, there's a whole crowd of people that aren't me, but they go after me specifically. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'll save you. Quick, I have to save that guy. He sells me medicine. I, I upgraded this. I fixed this thing. Freaking give me credit. There we go. Holy crap. I would like to barter. Boop, 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 boop. 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 Nope. Yes, money. There we go. I saved you guys and I got my reputation and now I'm hungry. These are not related things, but they're all true. Well, two of them are related. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Lively gal with a bullet. <laughs> Hey, mister, I have a bullet. Would you like a bullet? Just the one. Is that, is that... Tell me that rat's not currently chasing me from across the... It is. It's chasing me from across the entire river. Uh, I gotta go that way. Alright. Shit. That was lucky. <laughs> that went way better than I thought it would. Uh, the path here is weird. Isn't the... Isn't there not really a hole in the... I think this is the one where there's not actually a hole in the path, and I have to kind of avoid it better than that. What happened to Creepy Plague Person that was kind of chasing me down earlier? Did they just disappear? Well, howdy, little girl. I'm gonna avoid... Uh, stop shooting at me. It's not a tower defense game, goddamn. Ah, there's the there's the there's the mobs of the tower defense game over there. Is that gonna come at me? No? Cool. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I think that I think that one's moving too. Am I safe here? We're using safe colors. Whew, we've made it up here now. Hi. I haven't been here for a while, have I? The most subtle foley grows out of the most subtle wisdom. Foley? Isn't the word folly? Foley. Foley is uh, when you make sound effects for a movie. I don't... I don't think that a positive outcome falls within the range of reasonable possibility. There is no point whatsoever in trying to attain it. All we can do now is wait and hope that, by some miraculous coincidence, the epidemic will pass us by. That would be a hell of a coincidence. Uh, you're literally surrounded by the epidemic right now. Do tell me, how exactly are you planning to test these antibiotics? Oh, so you know it already. I need to contract the disease first, then try to cure it myself. Um... Your previous statement was all we can do now is wait and hope that, by, but that, that it just passes you by, and now you're gonna walk directly into it. These are contradictory statements. I need to contract the disease first, and then try to cure myself. I have all three kinds of pills, you see. Conceivably, any of the medicines may curb the sickness at a certain state in its development. An exciting experiment if I ever saw one. Not quite unlike the feats of power that had in long had in times long forgotten. A trial a trial of fate. Yulia, this is nonsense. As far as I know, a disease of this sort can't possibly be cured by this kind of antibiotics. You are not wrong here. Still, I'd rather go with my own assumptions. W the f what? <laughs> Not unlike yourself, I base my speculations on rigorous research, even though it may not look veritable enough to you. 
You see, in order to calculate the probability of either income outcome, uh, I had to extrapolate the two mathematical functions, which you may find to be somewhat esoteric. So what is the process? What does the process that you have in mind look like? Nothing revolutionary, I assure you. The experiment is fundamentally getting myself infected and using three, the three medicinal formulas one after the other. Besides, the Olgimsky girl provided, uh, provided me with a schmouter that I am to use if neither of the pills has effect. Absolutely precious, these schmouters. Extremely detrimental to, uh, for your liver, but also certain to remove the infection. Everything will work out just fine, I hope. Not for your liver. <laughs> in that in your own in your own example I have a better proposal you see I would be very interested to study these matters myself I think I am better equipped to do it give this matter to me and I will handle this to the testing pardon me but I have my own prospects regarding this matter which is that she doesn't even want to do the test she just wants to have it what medicine were you given here it's called ferromycinium the most powerful uh, medicant they had in stock, as well as the most hazardous, known to purge the bacteria by means of destroying all manner of microflora, harmful and otherwise. If it proves to be of use, the Ogimsky family will distribute it throughout the town. Is that all? There's two more medicants, Neomycinium and Monomycinium. Reportedly, both are much weaker than the first, but each one has useful characteristics in its own. I wouldn't know what kind of characteristics these are. Pharmaceuticals is not my field of study. And yet, that was exactly what you're choosing to, like, die for, is is your own study based on your own ma mathematics? That's enough, I'll do this myself. Are these even more separate, different? They are. I got another copy of that one I bought earlier, so I, now I have another monomycinium. My chest I've also just got a nightmare list of drugs. Oh god. So many scary drugs. All right. What can cure? Welp, 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 welp. I've got a nightmare concoction of drugs. What could go wrong? Yulia Anna Lara Eva. That's Lara. Let's see. This was Yulia Anna. Yulia Anna Lara Eva. Where's Eva? That's Lara. Andre. Peter. What? Oh, that's the silent house. Aspidy. Grace. Grief. Ava. That's Maria. Who was Ava? Oh, Ava! The Stillwater, right. Why isn't hers marked? Everyone, all the other ones are marked. That's weird, right? How they just don't mark that one? Huh. I think I just saved, right? No, I didn't. Didn't want to double quick save because then you don't get your... Then they'll just oh, then both of my quick saves are just right here, which is not ideal. So now I'll get to Lara. Which is also going across a danger zone. I am burning through my supply of this stuff. Yep, it's moving. Yep, it's moving. Or is it? No, it's not moving. Excuse me. Ah. Uh, safe zone? Yes. Back to the safe zone. Good to go. Also getting large numbers of drugs for free. Kind of. Uh, we'll see if they're actually useful or not. How, how am I doing on drugs? I have 15. Uh, let's maybe not go any further into that right now. See if I can find other cool stuff. That's Avion's house. Who's a creepy little boy? Aren't you a little nightmare? Oh, just shotgun shells. Yep, 
You lied to me. Clemency is born not of virtue, but rather of fear. I'm so glad nothing bad happened to you yesterday. Tell me, are you really planning to test antibiotics? No, I'm not. Glad the younger claims that he asked you to test some dubious remedies. I wanted to try the antibiotics, but I wasn't allowed to. I'll have to work with painkillers. Glad the younger says that they're closer to my line of trade anyway. If I'm to host the house of the living, I'll have to handle them often. They ease pain, but also make you drowsy and apathetic. That's the same stuff I've been using then, isn't it? The, sle the sleeping juices. <laughs> juices. The various opiates and whatnot that I've been- and similar objects and morphine. How exactly are you planning to test them anyway? I know how they work. All I need to do is find a man whose line of work naturally leads to being wounded frequently. I was planning to distribute the drugs among the patrolmen, but I could rather give them to you if you wish. If you have any success testing each of these three types, then that means they're still fine. Then the Ogimskis will begin giving them out to the population. That's fine, they'll be of more use to the patrolmen. You know what? There's something else I want to ask you. Please put a stop to Yulia's efforts and support Anna. Yulia has her own motives, yet I have a terrible suspicion she may have given up to despair, and poor Anna doesn't deserve this either. I'm absolutely positive that she isn't planning to offer the medicine assigned to her to the test subjects. She's too compassionate for that, but she won't go anywhere herself either. What's wrong with Anna? She is certain the Olgimskis are only doing this to get to her, and to have her dead. She might not be all that wrong. Oh, really? I don't think it's Big Vlad, yet the Olgimskis are definitely a threat to her. There isn't a shade of doubt in anyone's mind that one of them will become the death of her. Uh, concerning that there's a consensus about that? Huh. More fortune telling. Go ahead and distribute the painkillers among the patrolmen. I don't see... I don't see a problem with this one. I could be wrong, but uh... The other two ones were like, hey, go on suicide missions and kill yourself with these... with these drugs. See how they work out, but also just intentionally infect yourself. But... These are like the people going out and trying to maintain order and, and try to make this place work at all. The idea of having painkillers, I'm like, this isn't... This isn't the same level of, of questionable and unethical, it's just... They're just painkillers. I'm using them too, and I have them on supply. It's not really... Not really questioning this one, so I don't really care. So, so go ahead and give them to the patrolman, I guess. Also, I have a bunch of them already. I think they mean this stuff, so I'm like, I'm not that... Yeah, a painkiller. This is the weakest one, of course, but I have 15 of them, so like... They're not hard to get. It's nice to see you. Lara, I'm afraid we're about to have a rather difficult talk. Did you know the water supply has been damaged deliberately? Heavens, no. Who would even consider that? That's what I want you to tell me. With whom did you talk about the water before the supply was cut? I'm not entirely sure. There were many people. I talked to everyone who was helping me with the house of the living. I must have asked someone to deliver water, of course. How about the stinking clots? Did you tell anyone about them? The clots? No, I didn't. But... Just so that you know, there was this odd, clingy lady in Earth terrorizing everyone with questions about bloody clots in the water. Maybe she- perhaps she may know something. I know her. Her name is Aspity, and she- it is she who claimed that you were the person to inspire some simple-minded, simple-hearted fool to destroy the waterline. Let me see. Perhaps? Right. I talked about the water with Daddy Yaklak. Daddy Yaklak. I'm- wait. <laughs> At first it's like, uh, Daddy Yaklak, right? But for a second there, like, if you- another pronunciation you didn't land on, it would be like, all right, guys, it's Daddy O'Clock. I'm like, oh, excuse me? 
He used to, he, he used to be the taskmaster at the termitary. Then he bought himself out and became a patrolman. I did indeed tell him that he should boil water before using it, that it's risky to drink natural water just like that, but I didn't mean any harm. I guess they don't have any- they don't have access to filters at all here. Well, that's a no-brainer. A newborn baby knows that. No one could have gone ra no one could have gone rampant destroying the town's water supply chain because of this rather straightforward information. He also asked me whether one should boil the rags and bed sheets that the infected were dying on. I remember it weirded me out a bit. Why would he ask me about bed sheets? He's a patrolman, not a laundry person. What did you tell him? Of course I told him he should do that. He's from the kin, you see. He had to be... He had to be explained the benefits of boiling water, so I did my best to describe to him how that is useful and essential to hygiene. Makes sense. He did nothing wrong. Is that all there, is that all there, is that how that conversation ends? That's how that, that's how that conversation ends. Uh oh. 